You're listening to 99.9 in Toronto. This is CKFM. It's 8 o'clock. Time now for Henry Morgan, brought to you by the people at Black's Camera Stores, who believe a picture worth taking is worth taking to Black's. I complain so much. I really owe it to you to share some of my good times. I had a lovely time about two weeks ago, and for all I know, you were there with me. I was sitting in the kitchen where the television is watching the Miss America contest. If you missed it, let me bring you up to date. Hello, anybody. Here's Morgan, a man who never misses watching the contest which chooses Miss America. I love it. If you've never seen it, it usually starts out with somebody introducing a man named Bert Parks, a unique fellow. As far as anybody knows, Bert Parks is the master of ceremonies each year for this show, and in between, he does nothing. For all we can tell, he leaves the stage and goes off somewhere and lives with Patty Hearst. This is a man of almost extraordinary talent. He can take two words and make them sound like the greatest, most important two words in the history of talking. He has a very, very big mouth, which helps. He opens it, and out comes Miss Utah. And the earth trembles. The fact that Miss Utah and Miss Oklahoma and Idaho and New Jersey look absolutely alike doesn't bother him. In fact, all the girls look alike. It's very interesting. You can't tell one from another until they get down to the ten finalists, and then you have a hard time. As a matter of fact, for all anybody knows, every year they may be playing the same tape. Maybe it's a show they did 15 years ago. The girls not only look alike, they sound identical. I am a sophomore at X College, and I want to make children my life's work. You can tell that every one of them was really too shy to enter the contest, but somebody talked her into it much against her will. According to what Mr. Park says... The girls all have charm, whatever that is, and they're all real friendly. And they have loads of talent and are highly respected members of their communities. They're in their 20s, and they don't do anything, but are about to when they get to be 40. Anyway, the winner is chosen by a panel of the famous. Well, everybody knows them. Archie Glock, Zelma Cricker, Ferdinand Blutwurst, Roz Tripshanker, the usual run of people who are authorities on what makes an all-American girl. And the girls are given marks on things like um, standing up, sitting down, walking. They're obliged to say a sentence in the English language or something very close to it. If they can do all those things, Mr. Parks then calls out the names of their states in a loud voice, and each girl demonstrates walking in an evening gown, as it is called. And if they can do that, or, or you know, passably... Then they put on what is referred to as bathing costumes. These outfits are cleverly designed so that no sex is involved, but you can get a very rough idea of how the girls put together. It should be mentioned that the contestants smile all the time, and I mean all the time. What they're smiling about, nobody says. But maybe it's the way Mr. Park sings, I forgot to tell you. He sings specially made-up Miss America songs. And for some reason, nobody's ever put out an album of them. Well, when they get down to ten, the girls come on with their talent bits. One sings a little, one dances a little, one plays the f <laughs> almost the flute, one recites, you know. And in about uh, two hours, the judges are able to pick out one girl. Somebody puts a crown on her head, she cries, the losers all applaud like mad, still smiling, and the winner gets one year of exploitation. And then she's never heard of again. Interestingly enough, there's no reason that she should be heard of again. They all look alike, and they all sound alike, and they probably all think alike. They're the common denominator of the people. I'm sure any of them can tell you what common means. I'm positive not one of them can tell you what denominator means. It's a great show. If you missed it, They'll show it again next year. Same show, same girls. Well, sir, 
This is Black's Camera Store's anniversary sale, and it is a beauty. All kinds of goodies are there at reduced prices, but the pride and joy of the management is this particular color TV portable by Panasonic. It's a peachy portable. 185 square inches of picture, supplied by the new Quintrix picture tube. Brighter, sharper, contrastier than ever. Contrastier. All solid state, electronically adjusted tint and color. The stations snap in. There's the panel lock AFT button. There's speed of vision, practically instant on picture and sound. Speed of vision. Well, they had to call it something. When you go away, there's a switch that turns the set completely off. There's the optional VHF dipole and UHF bow tie antennae. Comes with a CATV master antenna connector. It is the Panasonic 914C, and you can take it home for 10 days to see if this is the goods or not. You know likey, we come picky uppy. Guaranteed. -y. The Panasonic 914C at selected Black's camera stores. Have a look. Morgan will be on the same corner for the cigar store again subsequently. <laughs> just occurred to me, Henry. How would you like to judge the Miss FM pageant? <laughs>